<laughs> all right y'all so as you all can see i got time today and sergio my mans my mans you gotta get it man you gotta get it so i asked him if he wanted to come into like a twitter spaces and just talk about it but i mean i don't really benefit from twitter spaces i don't get anything from destroying people in twitter spaces so yeah i mean it's really it's really not worth my time now that i think about it if he wants to hop into a space to try and talk i mean i'm down but it don't really benefit me, so why, why not just do it here? Um, that being said, what I think is very important for you all to understand is the successful people in this community, because I believe he is among the successful. I think that he has a higher net worth, if I'm not mistaking him with somebody else, who knows? Um, but the thing is, this community has a lot of average people who think that because someone is of, of a certain status that they're more special in some way, shape, or form. Like you have Dr. Profit. And listen, I have no problems with anyone, but I'm just gonna tell it how it is. Dr. Profit is successful when it comes down to make it to making money because of his job and what he does, him being a CEO or whatever it is that he does. He's a successful CEO. Being a successful CEO don't make you a successful investor. And that's what people gotta understand. People sit here and follow these guys and they're good in business. That don't mean that they're good in investing. Everybody out here is not Warren Buffett. If you didn't make your money from investing, why are you sitting here trying to follow somebody's moves just because they're rich and hang on to everything that they say just because they're rich? It makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. And it's like you got so, like people will follow Dr. Profit no matter what he says, not realizing that his decisions in this community has been so bad to the point where he had to sue somebody he screwed himself so bad. Like he got he got sold a fairy tale or sold he got he got screwed into a bad deal to the point where he he had a lawsuit with somebody. And listen, I'm not the one to judge, but I'm just pointing out the obvious. The obvious is he's no expert in this field. Neither is this guy. And you all got to stop moving the goalposts. So at one point I'm told, at one point, like, so this guy says, if VV doesn't have a bull run in 2024, 2025, they'll lose a huge chunk of, a huge chunk of their investors. And I'm like, what you mean? Y'all are true collectors. It's about the passion. Y'all don't need utility. Y'all don't need ownership. Y'all don't need exchanges. Y'all don't need anything. It's just supposed to be about collecting, right? It's just supposed to be about you collecting what you want, the nostalgia, you enjoying it, you having fun taking pictures with Spider-Man and all of that stuff. And I mean, Vivi's raking in billions, but we don't talk about that. It doesn't really matter because you're true collectors, right? So it's about what you're holding and that's what you're proud of. So what are we talking about people leaving or, or being upset if you don't make some money? Why, why are we talking about it? Like, there's nothing to talk about. Like, if, if you don't make no money, you don't make no money. At the end of the day, at least you're still a true collector because you're holding what you believe in, right? Like, the thing is, a lot of y'all is full of shit. And that's the, that's the real issue here. A lot of y'all is really full of shit and y'all don't want to admit it. Like, you have people like me who's just been honest from day one. I keep it 100. And because a lot of y'all are full of shit, y'all would rather try to attack me and spin things to fit y'all on y'all own narratives. That's what it is. So Sergio pops up and he says, this is a flawed argument. First off, I didn't make an argument. I stated facts. The fact is as a collector, you shouldn't care about none of that shit that's coming soon. Vivi had some IP drops. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> that's all that matters. They had IP drops. You bought your holding. That's it. You didn't buy to flip it later. You bought because you love the piece as a collector and the conversation. I just made a statement truthfully. But he says the most important and valuable NFT collection, CryptoPunks, has no utility of any kind. CryptoPunks popped up and, and it went crazy during a time where NFTs, the first wave of the NFT bubble, when NFTs first popped up, no one knew what it really was. No one understood it. It was just being pushed. It blew up at that time. It didn't blow up because it's some Mona Lisa or some valuable thing. It blew up because no one knew what it was and, and the hype the hype blew up NFTs as a whole. The same reason that Vivi's NFTs blew up and was popular for a certain period of time. That same hype trickled down to Vivi as well. It was all hype. That don't make something valuable. You're talking about the fact that it doesn't have utility. What you have to understand with the entire Web3 space is it's progressing. More and more things coming out is gonna have utility. More and more things coming out is going to function. It's gonna work. The tokens are gonna to be associated to more working, working products. We got into this space very early on. 
That's like, we got into the space, it's like making a game console. A game console before you have any games for it. Back when you first create the PlayStation, it's just a PlayStation, you don't have any games for it. So here you have a PlayStation and everyone's sitting around telling you, oh, well, you don't need a video game for the PlayStation, just hold the PlayStation and it's gonna be super valuable because it's, it's old and nostalgic. It's like, bro, put, you need some video games for that. You, you need some utility for this PlayStation, otherwise it's just a PlayStation. You wanna sit here, let, let, let's, let's continue, let's see what he said. His value is derived from his legacy and historical provenance. CryptoPunks does not have a legacy. CryptoPunks does not have any historical provenance. Neither does anything on Vivi. This stuff was put into a computer by some nerd somewhere who said, oh, this exists in real life, let me put this on the internet. Let me put this on the internet in a way that it says that I was the first one to put it on the internet and let me convince these clowns that it's not valuable because of that. What? There is no historical. In order for something to be historic, <laughs> it has to have a real history. Like, this, what is the history of these NFTs? What is the history? What is the true history? I'm not asking you what is the history that of what it represents. Because if you bring me a real one of these comic books, if you bring me a real statue that's old, okay, then we can talk about its historical provenance. But when you're talking about a digital item that came out of nowhere, somebody just typed it into a computer, it has no history. It was just created out of thin air. Kind of like the US dollar, but we don't got to talk about all that. Listen, a lot of y'all not ready for those conversations, but regardless, <laughs> he said, and people pay millions of dollars for art pieces that ultimately sit on a vault somewhere. Um, just as so the buys for, and for that matter, people pay millions of dollars for graded comics with no intention to ever open the case. Once again, I spoke on this. You were paying for something that didn't, that wasn't expected to have utility. Back when comic books was really booming and taking over the world and stuff like that, it was before we had a bunch of video game consoles, a bunch of different Call of Duties, Fortnite, computers, TikTok, YouTube. It was a different time. And now the people that still clinging to this old bullshit that this guy is selling right now is a bunch of old heads who can't get with the times realizing that when your kids, your grandkids and your great can't, grandkids are around, they're not gonna be talking about no old ass comic books that came around when you was old. Like, they're, like, they're not talking about that. They're gonna be talking about the new metaverses with utilities and the fun shit that's going on. Like, it's so much new stuff going on in the world. You wanna sit here and be an old head and believe all this weird shit? Like, you can just sit back and think about this shit logically. Vivi's audience is a bunch of old people who's fine taking pictures with shit. They, oh, I've never seen it. It's, it's a, it's a Spider-Man next to me. I've never seen this before. Like, you ain't, bro, like, this is the, people getting excited from seeing a Spider-Man next to him, bro. Uh, it's a, a digital Spider-Man next to you. Like, this is the, <laughs> this is the the magnitude of greatness VV has accomplished, bro. You can <laughs> you can see a digital Spider Man next to you, like, hey, hey Peter, hey, like, what, what are we talking about right now, bro? And this is the shit that y'all still selling. This is the shit. This is the shit that people are still falling for. That's crazy. This is wild to me. And I <laughs> like, yo, y'all y'all are wild, bro. Anyway, anyway. So this argument about utility and whatnot is irrelevant. People collect for different reasons. Exactly. So goes back to how my post is wrong. He, he started this off by saying this flawed argument. How's the argument flawed? I literally said it's not about none of that other shit. Collecting is just supposed to be you holding some shit no matter if it goes to zero. <laughs> like that's what collecting is, right? So it sounds like while you said a bunch of bullshit in what you said, it sounded like we both agree in making the same point. You just made, like, I don't, I don't understand. Like, I don't understand what you're even saying. So this argument is about utility and whatnot is irrelevant. People collect for different reasons and utility is the least important one for many collectors. So he basically just basically agreed with what I said, to be fair. He completely agreed with what I said. And then he just tried to say a bunch of weird shit in, in between, but Here's the problem that I have with people like this guy. Y'all are just trying to pump y'all bags and keep stuff valuable. You're trying to keep up morale, keep up, keep everyone happy. Say all the things that's gonna get you all likes, engagement and stuff like that, bro. 
People talk about I engagement farm. When I engagement farm, I get millions of views. My shit works. Y'all engagement farm, y'all saying bullshit. Y'all don't get views. You're not accomplishing anything. All you're doing is screwing over the little bit of people who do actually see the bullshit that you all, you all out here preaching. Because the fact is, like, let's talk about my worst calls. Let's compare me to the to, to y'all actual guys. You got somebody like me who was calling out $10 owe me based on exactly what the team promised they were going to do. In order for me to be wrong, the team literally had to lie to everyone. The, the only way possible to make Vail wrong was for the team themselves to lie to everyone. Think about that. Y'all out here just saying bullshit that's complete nonsense. You're lying for just for the sake of lying, like just for the sake of your own benefit. This is this this is very very weird. This is it's very weird how you all move. You all move with no integrity, and this is why you all are shit at investing most times. This is why you all don't really accomplish much when it comes down to actually investing and seeing profits. Because you sit around all day talking about VV because you clearly don't got nothing going on. Like, and, and it's fine. Listen, you may get your money other places, but I can tell you, I can tell which of you are not getting your money through investments. It's a lot of y'all, it's very obvious that y'all don't get money through investments. Y'all don't know what you're doing. You can't relate to the conversation that I have on a daily basis. And that's the problem. But you can relate to a lot of these fans in the VB community because they're not at that level either. So you sit here and, and prey on these people who don't know better. And this is why y'all niggas is scum to me. I, I, don't, I don't like y'all type of people, bro. Like, how about you all get some integrity, get some honor, get some pride, and do better. Like, do better. Because you can't sit here and preach to me at all the time that, oh, it's not about profits, it's not about making money and all of that. Then I say the same thing, and suddenly, suddenly I'm wrong too. When I said it was all about utility, I was wrong. When I said it's supposed to be about, I literally said, y'all true collectors about the passion. Y'all don't need utility, ownership, exchanges, or anything. Is this not facts? Y'all true collectors, y'all don't need none of this. None of this matters. So I don't want to hear y'all complaining about nothing. If prices start to rise on VV, I don't want to see none of y'all retweeting pictures of y'all getting profits or anything like that. The only, the only thing I want to see from the VV community is Spider-Man smiling on y'all's shoulder. That's it. Like, anytime y'all y'all get something that goes up in value, Spider-Man smiling on your shoulder. That's it. No, no, matter of fact, no more of that. I am officially banning the VV community from posting anything profit related, money related, or anything like that. This is a collectors and passion community only. If Spider-Man is not on your shoulders in your pictures, you are not allowed to post it. No more talking about money. No more talking about being up or down or an Omi token. No, no more talking about any of that. Y'all are banned. Y'all are on punishment. No more. Until y'all can be honest and be real with y'all selves, y'all are on punishment. That's what it is. So, <laughs> yo, I'm just trolling y'all in this video at this point. What am I talking about? Listen, bro. <laughs> hey, this, that, that's pretty much it, bro. Y'all know I said some real shit, though. This is why, this why y'all be mad at me, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to be on no high horse or nothing, man. You know your boys just gotta. Your boys just gotta say that real shit, man. And if you know that this is real, come join the Patreon. <laughs> I'll catch y'all on the next one, bro.